this is Miss D at these special things. I have some I have some good stuff. You guys see this? <laughs> yeah, I have uh actually I have a haul to show y'all. Guess what I got? Yay! Yeah, so I actually got these this week and I want to go ahead and finish making these because I want to put them in a flip book yeah so once I finish these I'll come back and I'll show you these I'll probably use the in my um my journals yeah in my Diane Reevely journals but I do want to use this one to do some more of these because I want I just had to have these and I did find these I found them at wal walmart.com so yeah they were I had to pay eight dollars for them but you know when you want something you just gotta have it yeah I wanted them so I got them I had the other I have all of her a lot of her stamps most of her stamps I'll have to say I have and I really like them but uh yeah and I saw that Kim I'm sorry that I didn't see that you needed was was looking for this stamp first this is just a smaller version of the other two and I didn't know you were looking for this because when I got it, I realized I had already had this one, but I didn't have the larger ones. And I put it in one of my D stash lots. So, um, yeah, I wish I'd know. I should have kept it. That's what I should have done. But I just, because I had an extra one, I just put it in there. But I do have a share for you guys. Let's see. How can I do this? No, I'm going to have to do this. Look what I got. I'll have to show it to you like this, guys. And I started using it. Can you see that? Oh, it's covered. It is. Here it is. Let's see. I got my scan and cut too. Yes. I shouldn't have said it because once I said that's what I wanted, then I went ahead and purchased it. But the only reason I purchased it was because my sister told me about Hancock Fabric having a going out of business sale. And I went, when was it? Monday. And when I went, I found that not only were they having a going out of business sale, they had that scan and cut two for 20% off. So they had it for $279. So yeah, well, it was originally $349. So yeah, I went ahead and I got that. And I cut some little cuts out of it, but now I'm trying to figure out how to not cut this stuff away. So if anybody could help me. Yeah, I don't want, and my gosh, look how thin it cuts. Let me see if I can find the other little piece. When I say it cuts super, super thin, and yes, I do have the scan and cut one, which now that I have mine, I'll probably put it in a de-stash and get rid of it. Um... I'll sell it for the most reasonable price, but I'm not giving it away. I'd like to at least recoup some of the money for it, yeah. Um, but yeah, this is, it really cuts. It cuts so very thin, but I have to keep it. I have to go in there and take out that cut line so that it doesn't cut this stuff out. And I mean, it really cuts it out, doesn't it? Yeah. Look at the little thing that she has in her mouth. Is that in her mouth or is that hanging off of her clothes? It's a little thin piece. And oh my gosh, it is so thin. And I still have to fussy cut it out here on her. Yes. Um, a super, super thin cut. Yes, it is. But I'll, um, I have to finish her because as you can see, that right there isn't done yet. Yeah. Her, her top actually stops way down here. Yep. But I did have another one. And you can easily see the cuts. But it cut out really, really fine. But I'm going to. I know what I can do. I can show you all. I'm going to finish these girls up using my stamps that I got. And um, yay. I'm happy about that. Because I really wanted. I wanted these girls. So yay. I got them. And I wanted these stamps right here, too. So I'm kind of glad that I found them. And uh, 
Yes, yeah, so I'm going to finish up my girls today, but I do want to share with you, it's a project share, and it is using, you know, the Martha Stewart gold embossing pieces that was on sale at Tuesday morning, I guess, hmm, was it last week or week before? Yeah, these, these little pieces, so I took a pack of these and I cut them apart, yeah. Um, it, these are great, and these are especially great if you like to fussy cut little stuff, because you could cut all these pieces apart, and you can actually use them how you want. Even the little birds and the leaves. I don't think I ended up using this one. I didn't use this one, but I'm going to show you what I did with um, the other one since I made this right here and you all saw this Mickey Mouse one and I see I'm going to have to use the washi tape on the front there because that is coming up but I want to show you what I made with the, the other one and this is all washi tape okay this is this one is the male one the one that looks like the postal stamps or whatever yeah and I use all elements of that and this is what I made and I use the acrylic book I have to wipe it off because it has glue stuff on it this does not have any of the elements in it it just have all of the flip pages yeah so this is what it looks like before I put any of anything in it and I did tell you all that I will come back and show you what it looked like and here you are this you can put four little pictures in there um, yes, yeah, the four pocket flip. So there is my acrylic airmail flip. Isn't that pretty? I like this. And I know, who is that? Here's an idea uh, for tell them thank you since you like airmail stuff. And you all you have to do is, I use, all I did was use my washi tape. And if you don't have the acrylic, and I like the acrylic because it makes for a heavier, a sturdier, um, it makes for a sturdier book. Yeah, so that's what I did with this. And I, once I finish it and put all my elements in there, I'm going to just put it back in the box. And the acrylic boxes are the acetate boxes. I actually get these from, the last time I got them, gosh, it had to be probably 10 years ago. Okay, you guys, so I would go and look. I think then they were a bit costly, but right now, I don't know because I haven't looked lately. So, both of these, the acrylic and the boxes, I used to purchase them years ago. So, I can only tell you where I got them from when I did. But, this is the one that I made with the Martha Stewart embossing stuff, okay? There it is, and I have it in one of the acrylic boxes, and just find a bunch of gold elements, and there you are, and all of these are the Martha Stewart elements here and here on this, on this edge right here, I don't know if you can see that, but it is, um, I did it on both sides so that you can't see the raw side of one, you have to know how to do the acrylic. If you do it on one side, just like there, I'm going to need to put something there so you can't see the tape on the back side. But this one I thought was so pretty. And I'll wipe it down again because I can see some of my glue spots. This was one of the Heidi Swap tags and I just folded it. I just folded it and put gold washi tape to make a pocket. It flips up and you can do anything that you want with it. There's a butterfly here. But there is also a butterfly on this side so that you can see through. And there's a flower on both sides of this pocket. so But you can see it through here when you pull it down. And this, I'm not certain. These are the Hottie Swap gold tags. I forget which collection they come in. See the Heidi Swap are 
what's the pocket life whatever that is one of those I think it's hottie swap but those are the acetate tags and then here is a whole page that I have not done anything to. This is a piece of acrylic. And I could still add more stuff. But here is a flip down pocket here. And you could put something here in this pocket. And something here in this pocket. And then I just trimmed it with some more of the embossing. The Martha Stewart embossing things in inside but nothing on the outside yet I don't think this is totally finished um, so I'm gonna work with it some more but I just took one of the boxes and I'll be putting more of the gold washi tape I think <laughs> I think the great joy for me in making these is the fact that I can use lots of washi tape because I have lots of washi tape as we all do right and I did say that I was going to not buy anymore, but I find myself still buying washi tape. But at least I am using a lot of this washi tape. I mean, loads of this washi tape. But I'm loving these right here. And I'm going to try to do enough for maybe Mother's Day. I have to really see or get enough uh, styles to send out for... Um, my sisters for Mother's Day, which means I need three more. But I doubt if the Mickey Mouse one will be for anyone. But this would be great. The gold ones would be great. But I don't know if I just want to do gold for Mother's Day. But I'll see. I'll see if I could come across some. And I also have some Happy Mail that Audrey, um, Wendy Day sent me. And she is so sweet. She is such a sweetie. So I have to come back and show you her uh, happy mail that she sent me. Okay, you guys. I hope you all are having a great Saturday. I'm planning to... I got up early this morning. And I've been doing my cleaning and washing and, you know, household stuff. Uh, doing stuff in the house today most of the morning. And now, because usually I do the Eloise thing, or sometimes, a lot of times, I'll do the Eloise thing where you, we used to call it Fly Lady or something like that. I forgot the name of it, but it's been so long that I, I still do it, but I forgot Fly Girl, I think it was. And you clean for 15 minutes, you craft for 30 minutes, then you'll clean something else for 15 minutes, you'll craft for 30 minutes, and at the end of the day, you'll have your whole house clean. That's the way it's supposed to work, but it never works like that for me because halfway through me crafting or by the time, you know, I forget that I was supposed to be cleaning. So it never works for me. But today I'm going to actually play with my scan and cut too. I'm going to get it to work perfectly. I am going to um, finish up these dolls. I think I'm going to make another. And if these come out like I want, I might just make a... A bunch of these little books for my sisters. Yeah, I think they would like these for Mother's Day. Yeah. But anyway, I'll come back with some happy mail. And, um, yeah. Let me know what you all are doing. Doing for, um, yeah, your Saturday. Um, I'm feeling a lot better today because my back is not hurting as much as it was. And then Kimbo Creations, she had a video where she showed this gadget that she purchased. I have to go back and find out exactly what that gadget was. I think she got it from Amazon. But I'm going to order that and see if it helps my back some. Because I do have a, a sciatic nerve. Yes, and sometimes it flares up and really hurts me. This was one of those times. And uh, so, yeah, I may need something. But sometimes I don't want to do the medicine because I do want to craft. And the Flexoril that I take, it just puts me out. So I don't like taking that a whole lot. Um, but sometimes I just have to. So I'm going to see if that little gadget works. And, yeah, I'm going to work on these today. So, hey, you all, let me know what you all are doing today. I am also going to come back with a video on my flip books. Um, a, quite a few of my subbies wanted to see what they look like because they're thinking that you have to do this trifold thing and that you only, you know, that you can only use cards or craft 
or paper. So I'll just, not saying that I have rules for how to make them or that I came up with anything that's, you know, popular or whatever. I'm just going to show you my flip cards that I've made since I've seen them out there. Okay, so I'll come back with that after I show, um, what's her name? Wendy Days? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, Audrey. After I come back with her haul. Okay, I mean, not her haul, her, her happy mail. All right, thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll talk to you in a little bit. All right, bye-bye.